But before you go, three people have stopped me today, Oprah, and said, what is the deal with Oprah and Taraji? What do you want to share with the class? Oprah and, no, I'm addressing that to Oprah. Oh, because, because people, I saw your face. <laughs> no, because yeah, people think. I know that it's not a deal. It's yeah. not a deal. People think you're mad, she's mad. I know that that's well, not true. Well, first of all, the thing that is so upsetting to me is that somebody went on and, and, and something went viral where they're analyzing us. Has Oprah finally had enough? After what seemed like forever, Oprah Winfrey has finally addressed the controversy surrounding her 2014 film, The Butler, in which she co-starred alongside Taraji P. Henson. Henson has claimed to be treated differently by Oprah and the rest of the crew, something that has caused her great emotional stress over the years. I'm just tired of working so hard, being gracious at what I do, getting paid a fraction of the cost. Mm -hmm. I'm tired of hearing my sister say the same thing over and over. Um, you get tired. Mm -hmm. I hear people go, you work a lot. Yeah. Well, have to. I just, I'm, You're tired. I'm, a, I'm only human and, and mm -hmm. it seems every time I do something and I break another glass ceiling, when it's time to renegotiate, I'm at the bottom again mm -hmm. like I never mm -hmm. did what I just did and I'm just mm -hmm. tired. tired. Mm -hmm. I'm tired. I'm tired. Mm -hmm. I get that. I get that. It wears on you, you know? Because mm -hmm. what does that mean? Mm -hmm. What is that telling me? And of course, Oprah isn't having any of it. At least, not anymore. Here's everything you need to know. So, in her memoir that she wrote in 2017, Taraji P. Henson revealed the truth about how she was paid a pittance in comparison to Oprah Winfrey and a few other white performers in a movie that they were all a part of. So 2018 was when I finally got a real quote. And that is the last time that I, I haven't gotten a raise since then. And every, each and every project that I have, I have to fight for that. You still have to fight. I have to fight for that. Yeah. What does that do to you? That's why I'm not excited anymore. It takes the It takes fun out all of, it. of that away. And I know what other people are getting paid. What do you think that's about? It's about me being a woman and a black woman. I still don't think that this town um, respects what black women bring to the table. Because Oprah was a producer on the movie, Taraji was under the impression that she would have her back. And why not? Women empowering women, right? No. As a result, this caused her to feel a great deal of pain. Rather than receiving the mentorship and role model attitude that she had anticipated from Winfrey, Henson was left feeling completely misled and let down. And if I can't fight for them coming up behind me, then what the fuck am I doing? I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, no, don't apologize. Don't apologize. I, I think it's an important message for people to hear because we see the lights, camera, action. Yep, yep, yep. And then and they it's tell so me glamorous. we don't yes. translate overseas. Yeah. 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 I'm tired of hearing that my entire career, 20 plus years in the game, and I hear the same thing, and I see what you do for another production, and when it's time for us to go to bed, you don't have any money. Mm. They play in your face. Mm -hmm. And I'm just mm -hmm. supposed to smile and grin and bear it and just keep, like, mm -hmm. enough is enough. Mm -hmm. But after years of fans calling Oprah's hypocrisy out and actors questioning her morality, in an interview with Variety, Oprah has at long last made the decision to reveal her thoughts on the matter. That yeah, there's the a whole thing TikTok we had done about, that day. Yes. That was the fourth thing we had done that day. First of all, I just want to say that from the beginning, when I got the first phone call that cars were they were being asked to rent cars because they were in the middle of rehearsal. Well, I asked for my own car because I like to drive myself. I'm a Southern okay. woman. So I, but I, when you heard... I heard that Taraji was upset because she'd been asked to do a rental car. I personally called Toby Emmerich, who was at the time the head of Warner Brothers, and say, and he said, well, that means we have to do cars for everybody. Then I said, then we do cars for everybody. And if it's necessary, I will pay for the cars myself. He goes, well, we don't want you to do that. Yes. So, you know, from that was one thing, trailers were another thing, food was another thing. And everything got handled. And everything, yeah, everything got handled. I just so want I don't even know, know why, no I don't even know. Between. You know what, it's so disturbing to me. Why is my name even in this conversation? Because you're Oprah Winfrey. Oprah Winfrey asserts that she was completely unaware of the pay gap situation 
and that she had no input into the budget or the amount of money that was being paid to everyone. According to Oprah, she enlisted the services of director Lee Daniels and placed her faith in him to manage all of the financial decisions. According to her, I didn't know what anybody was getting paid. I didn't ask. I didn't negotiate. I just said yes to the role because I wanted to work with Lee and I wanted to support his vision. I'm sorry that Taraji felt hurt by that, but it was not my intention to slight her or anyone else. I, I heard I was trending yesterday uh, because people are saying that I was not supporting Taraji. Taraji will tell you herself that I've been the greatest champion of this film, championing not only the behind the scenes production, but also everything that everybody needed. So whenever I heard that there was something that people needed, I'm not in charge of the budget because that's Warner Brothers. You know, that's the way the studio system course, works. And we as producers, everybody gets their salary that's negotiated by your team. And so whenever I heard there was an issue or there was a problem, there was a problem with the cars or there was a problem with the food, I would step in and do whatever I could to make it right. And I believe that she would even vouch for that and say that it's I true. I think she would vouch for that. I can vouch for that because I've seen you and your work and behind the scenes, how you step in and you have put your own money up for everybody being the greatest and rising to the, meet the rising of their own life and so during the interview with variety oprah revealed even more claiming that after receiving the information from taraji p henson's memoir she mentioned that she communicated with her to gain more information so they had a face-to-face -face conversation and resolved the issue i love taraji she's a phenomenal talent and a beautiful soul i have nothing but love for her we had a good conversation and we hugged it out we're good. There, there, there's no validity to there being a thing between Taraji and I. Yeah, I think that people want to find something, but Taraji was talking about Hollywood in general and yeah. how it, the landscape for black actresses. But once again, Color Purple is a space and a place where black actresses thrive. Ah, uh, yes. And where we're all thriving because of it. I mean, I think yeah. from the very beginning, one of the things that Fantasia said so beautifully is that this would be a healing for people who saw it. And did you not feel that when you saw it? I, it touched me. Did it was beautiful. I watched it by myself. No. no, no, no. I had to. I needed. It was good to watch it by myself because I got a little teary eyed. But because Henson has still not refrained from holding Oprah accountable for her leaving the industry and the work she loved doing the most, Oprah seems to have had enough with the actress and finally showing her the door. This viral video of Taraji P. Henson and Oprah has left many wondering if there is beef going on. The viral video shows the awkward interaction during the Color Purple promo tour where Oprah can be seen moving away from Taraji while being photographed. According to recent reports, Oprah has revealed that thanks to her roles in box office hits, Taraji was earning a substantial income that was above the industry average already. Oprah has also maintained that Taraji was deserving of all the praise and prizes she had received, so there was no justification for the criticism or, as she described it, the lies. Everybody got exactly what they needed. First of all, I am a producer, Scott is a producer. Yes. Yes. We are not the studio. <laughs> Sensing a betrayal, Oprah claims that she is taken aback by Taraji's disclosure in the memoir and that Henson should issue a public apology to the philanthropist. Meanwhile, Taraji appears to have gone MIA in reaction to Oprah's claims. She appears to be overwhelmed by the negative feedback and accusations from both peers and fans and believes she has no choice but to leave the industry completely. That's all for today's video. But do you think Oprah has done it right by demanding a public apology from Henson? Let us know in the comments below. To catch us again, simply hit the bell icon.